and a very, very warm, really, warm welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. Last year, November, I won a competition. I won a pressure washer, the All Black 9 series from Direct Hoses, and I thought, hmm, that's a bit odd. This could be like, is it fixed? And I got in touch with the guys at the Weekend Warriors, because those guys held the competition on Instagram, and it got shared everywhere and tagged, and I won it. My name came up on one of those spinny randomizer things. I'm very, very fortunate. So I thought the least I can do is give Direct Hoses and the Weekend Warriors and all you lot an honest review of this machine, because I, I think there's probably about two or three videos in this machine. They don't really go into so much depth. And I thought, right, Paul, come on, get your act together. So I've been using this Direct Hoses machine. I'll show you it, because I can just about pick this up without dropping the plug. This is it. That's how big it is. As I nearly knocked me mic. Put that down. It's not the, the me. It's not a lights machine. We're going to go into great depth about this machine. We're going to go into the pros and the cons. And has it been running perfectly? We're going to find out. Go and grab some vegan crisps because they're much better for you. Really, Paul. Cheesy ones, obviously, because everyone knows that goes really well with red wine. Don't touch the spirits. Roll the video. Here we go then, this is the All Black 9. On the back you have your water in, and on this side you have your water out, where your gun attachment goes, or your lance hose. On the top there you have a pressure adjustment screw. A bit more about that later on. Turn it up to the max. On the side there, on and off button, and then underneath you have a reset button. To keep things nice and cool, we have a fan in the back. It comes to the hose, the reinforced hose. Massive fan of these, so much so I've had one for years on the back of my Neil Fisk. And that was second hand, believe it or not. On loan, should I say, from Mr. Boyd Reese, BR Car Detailing, my dear friend. Brilliant bit of kit. Stubby gun sign now. It's when you get in the kit with your direct hoses logo on it. All quick release. 25 degree angled nozzle, the green one, the most widely used, and then the narrow 15 degree. Only for door shuts, <laughs> spoiler alert. Then the wider, kind of rinsy 40 degree. A three position swivel coupler. Brilliant bit of kit that is. And the lance. Now I didn't measure the lance, I should have done, so I could have given you the specs. All I know is, I can cope with this. I've got to bend down. Now one of these, I've never seen one of these before. A Vario nozzle it's called. It looks like the end of a snow foam lance. The idea is you move it in several positions. If you pull it back or push it forward, you'll get it. When you see the video, it's brilliant. Really is clever. You can have it coming out as a dribble or a fan or a jet. Snow foam lance. Fairly basic, this one. So when you see that, as I plug in it in, that part there, there's a filter there for your water, which is great. On and off buttons. Make sure you turn your water on first. When you turn it on, it will kick in. When you use it, the needle goes up. What controls that pressure? The thing on the right. The PA screw, pressure adjuster. Now this isn't really about this car, it's more about the pressure washer. There is a couple of cheeky chemicals thrown in this week. So when you're doing wheels and arches, you can either stand, put the lance in, or you can get down and dirty like I do and get on your knees and get stuck right in. So power wise, we are talking. 1800 watts, 1600 psi, or the equivalent is just over 110 bar. Always rinse your arches down and your wheels. So we're still using the Mitchell and King products. Got the citrus pre-wash in there to clean those grubby tires. Now 
As far as cleaning the wheels is concerned, we have Garage Therapy's One Wheel Shampoo with the Wheel Woolies. So, as I said before, we're not gonna really concentrate too much on this. You wanna see this pressure washer being used. So speed up, Paul. Dear, I didn't, don't do it. Just don't put two in at the same time. That, that, that joke's finished, it's gone, all right? Be done with it. If you wanna see other videos of me putting two things in dark holes at the same time, then check the other videos out. Right, rinse time now. Attach the lance. You don't be bending down. You can do it on your knees. You don't have to attach the lance. You just get a little bit wet, that's all. And so does the camera. So when it comes to the other nozzles, the uh, nozzle, nozzles, sound like I'm drunk. Trying to be a fine thing. We've got the narrow nozzle on. This is the 15 degree. This is what it's really used for, door shut areas. We don't want to fill up that footwell or soak the seats. Look at that dirt line. That was pre-treated with the Michelin King Citrus. Same product again around the boot area. This was horrific to be honest with you. Yes, those are Alien Magic Hog's Hair brushes. Lovely bits of kit. Just make sure you dry them after. You don't want those cracking. The collar tends to break because the wood swells up. Note to everyone out there. Remember that black thing? This is one of the things you can do with it. You can turn it right down and just flush out areas like this. Or you can use the smaller nozzle and stand back. So before we get to the pre-wash stage, we've actually got a pre-wash on it. We've got Exile from Michelin King. And we're gonna coat it with this, Tenzi. Tenzi's coming up on the channel. Attach your snow foam lance. 100 mil in the bottle and you're good to go. What, pink? What's going on here? Coloured snow foams? Who'd make a video about coloured snow foams? Really? So what about delivery from this lance? Well, it's not a bad spread. Obviously you're not gonna get this blast because we're only dealing with 110 bar. But it seems to cover the car pretty ad adequately as I put my teeth in. Pretty cold day on the day I did this. There is a glimmer of that thing, what's that thing called in the sky that, that's bright and it gets really warm? What's it called? Um, that'll come to me later on. Anyway, start rinsing. After about 10 minutes of dwell time, now remember we've got the, essentially is a TFR underneath, because it is super grubby and we've sealed it in with the snow foam. This should make a good combo. Remember that three pivot coupler? This is what it's handy for. Saves the back. Things are starting to improve with this fart tester. It's looking a bit sort of um, presentable. Not a lot of protection going on there to do something about that. So I don't really tend to use the white attachment when I'm doing this. I think the green one is the, the most mainly used nozzle for rinsing. So once this rinse down stage was done, this car was so bad, I busted out another garish therapy favorite, Decon Shampoo. If you want a really strong mix, around about 65 mil, which is way too much. I've probably got about 25 mil in there. In that bucket, another rinse down. And things are starting to improve. So one thing I do like about this pressure washer is the fact it's got a very flexible hose. One I've had on my Neil Fisk has been brilliant. The one you get with your standard machine is awful. 
Hyper Seal next. This is a wet coat style product from Detailed Online. I will put the dilution rates underneath the video. So you've permanently gotten there. Off the top of my head, I think it's 200 ml to 800 ml of water. If I'm wrong, shoot me in the comment section. To give us a liberal coating. And yes, we have swapped lances to the MJJ C Lance. There is a link where you can get one of those from, and it is an affiliate link. So every time you buy one, you'll be doing me a big favor. I get a small percentage. So let, allow us to dwell. Now, I don't think I allowed this to dwell enough on this wing. The water behavior is certainly improved, but on the, this side, it's amazing. It's brilliant. So should have let that dwell a little bit longer. So I know I'll get picked up on it in the comment section. So of course, rinse this down. The more you rinse this product off, the better it is. And that goes for all wet coat products. Only speaking from experience. And do not do it in the sun. We've got some nice sexy bead shots and we've got some protection on the paint, which is brilliant. And it's looking glossy. Drying stage now. The obligatory link to the uh, blower video coming in. And yes, once a car is protected, it does make drying easier with a warm air blower. Didn't see me do this, did you, in the last video? So I thought I'd put it in. This is a Michelin King tire dressing. Good liberal coating of this, and we are pretty much done. But not quite. So some quick after shots of the fart tester. Looking down slightly more presentable. Wasn't all plain sailing. Because I discovered I had a leak on the pressure washer. Yes, I've got a leak coming out the bottom of that PA screw. Right, we're back in the freezing colds. What are my thoughts on this machine? My honest opinion, and it's got to be an honest opinion. There's no point in turning here a lot of porkies and saying, yeah, it's fantastic, I won it, it's brilliant. Let's go through the, the pros first. Right, I love the design. I love the ergonomics, shall I say. I love the quick release system, the attachments you get with it. It's all in one lovely bundle. It's still marketed as a domestic pressure washer, so weekend warrior hobbyist. Okay, so you could use this to go and do jobs, if you want a bit more power, maybe look at the Gray series. So within its budget, what you actually get, the 170 odd quid, if you start looking at other machines, let me wave my hose around, I'll show you this in a minute. Another party trick. No, not that sort of party trick. If you start looking at other machines like Neil Fisk's and Cranzels and add up stubby guns, reinforced hoses, quick release systems, all that sort of stuff, it's gonna get expensive. You start buying the Lances, Snow Foam Lances, it can work out quite pricey. So, because you're getting all this in one package, it's pretty good value for money. And you can get the standard machine for £139, obviously a lot cheaper. But then you're going to have to start adding bits to it. Power-wise, yeah, it does a, a reasonable job. It's not going to blow the doors off. 110 bar isn't a huge amount. On the wheels, it did a really good job. On the lower parts, as long as you've got a decent amount of chemical on there, you're kind of relying more on your chemicals than you are the power of your pressure washer because you've got a lower pressure. Now, depending on if you're one of these people that wants a bigger machine and use less chemicals, then that's entirely up to you. But you might find you have to up your strength of your chemicals, your TFRs, your citrus pre-washes, because there is a lesser amount of PSI or bar. So that side of things is a little bit of a gray area which moves me on nicely to the Gray series. Now the professional range, if you add another 100 quid on this and you go up and up and up, you're gonna get a lot more power. There's always these camps. What do you go for? Or do you go full bore and go and buy a 550 pound Kranzel or 450 quid, however deep your pockets are? There is a party trick of this. 
You can put this in a water butt or vessel and pull in rainwater or filtered water, whatever. It's got a hose and attachment. You get that in the kit as well. So that's not bad value for money. It's an auto stop machine as well. It's got a reset button in it. I did use that once for some unknown reason while I was cleaning the fart tester, very odd. So it's got quite a lot going for it. Now, the downside, the O-ring. Uh, when I first got this machine, I couldn't get a pressure with it properly. And if I'm, if you're not mechanically minded, that's quite bad really, considering it's a brand new machine. Took it apart. It's got a failed O-ring. You know, sending me out some new O-rings. So hopefully that'll be sorted. It's got, a, that. you saw the leak. Um, it, it's not a huge leak, but there is a leak there. And for a new machine, I don't find that very good as far as quality is concerned. So that's the downside. So make your own minds up, fight amongst the comments section. Uh, massive thanks to the Weekend Warriors and Direct Hoses for sending down this machine. It has been really interesting. I wanted to do this over a period of months rather than just taking it out and going, yeah, it's all right, because that's just a pointless review. So you'll have to make your own minds up, get your calculators out, start working it all out, and let me know in the comments section. Uh, we will be back with lots more videos uh, coming pretty soon, provided it doesn't snow and uh, it starts warming up. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the links below, including the discount code at Direct Hoses. And bear in mind, stock levels are very low. In fact, very low. Keep your eye on the website. We'll see you on the next video. Tell you bye.